Hello everybody, Dickfink here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, it's hard to reach over, because I was using my left hand for WASD to change scenes here. Uh, we left off having found his sister alive, and then she promptly died, like everyone else we discover. I mean, I would not hire me to go rescue someone, because every time I rescue someone, I show up and they die. Might start to think I'm the one killing them if all these people got together, because there's a lot of people. That I like holding my hands as they die. I'm like pinching the back of their neck or something. I don't know what I do to them. Maybe I should get some medical training. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You guys honor me with your little nightstick thing. I'm assuming the Sun King is just sitting out on his throne, not sleeping, not doing anything different. Even though it's the middle of the damn night. I see him up there. Oh, how inconsistent you are, Zia game. But they'd have to introduce the whole resting mechanic and stuff into the game if you. Oh no, he's not up there. Claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. What's up? I don't know how you beat me here, but what's up? I'm glad you're back. Thank you. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope. Seems cruel. Yes, she wouldn't want is. us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Durval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, yes. A landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. Oof. Okay. Hey, a moment. Please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of... Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Yes. Very, very badly. Um. She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Vengeance? Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. There are no shadows under Seems like a mistake time. taking someone that dangerous and putting them directly in front of our king. But... If that's what you want, then so be it. Especially like a tinker, a trap maker. It's just you don't know what to search for. You don't know what he's done. It's just so dangerous. I mean, modern day technology, you could arguably body scan someone like more than thoroughly to make it acceptable to put him in front of like the leader of all leaders who he's like sworn to kill. Being like a genius, and I don't know. It's just so dangerous in this universe. So many unknowns and technology, and yeah, whatever. Would not recommend it myself. Do I have to go to the Great Elevator? Is that where I'm headed? What is this? He kind of boarded this off. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Come, okay, holy shit, can this dude kick? Probably shouldn't walk into a giant bomb. 
in such a manner. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. No, what's fucking sketchy is the stuff dripping from the ceiling. That means everything above us here is blaze. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Why do I have to touch the bomb? If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. We need to get everyone the fuck out of here. Something's dripping from the ceiling. Yeah, I bet it's the blaze. Lots of it. Nobody move. Everybody get out. That's it. There better be more than this. That's a lot of blaze. What's not? If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. It's the smoke four... will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, so is uh, is, is that thing gonna go off? And well, might. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. So this is another happenstance. So my lanta. Still not that much blaze. Like. Help me push this out. The huge okay. stock of Root blaze force, that. that I blew up. Save the hole in the wall help. was way when more than this. Falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is going to get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Did I not warn anyone? No. Why would that still not do the exact same thing? We did it! Durval's best shot. The Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. It just blew up. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Am I like too smart for my own good here, or am I? So like, I set off both parts of the bomb. I set off one part of the bomb lower in the city that's made out of wood. Then fire burns from bottom up. Usually least effective to start at the top and wait for it to burn down because heat rises. So that would have been a better way to set off the other part. This still blew up this house, lit it on fire. No one's trying to put it out. Are you just like praying over here, ma'am? Food tracks. It's just a bit of blaze in them. It's fine. Well, good luck. Have fun with that, guys. You guys can. Are you gonna put it out or just stare at it? Gonna put up a guard line and not firefight at all. And alt tab real quick. I did not start my timer. I don't know how long this episode's been running for, cause I'm terrible. I don't know. That it just hurts. Like it's such little things that make a game from good or great to a fucking masterpiece. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. And this game could arguably be a masterpiece if. I don't know. It's fine. Another one of Durval's hideouts. I just got my brain racking about that and like I shouldn't be 
Should be focused on what's going on. They, they obviously lead into this bookshelf. Trap door. Follow the trail. I did follow the trail. Go inside. Oh, down the path. Okay. Clearly made it so it looks like. Must be where Derval assembled the detonator. Yeah. <laughs> he tunneled through the wall. Not a very, very good security the here. Into the palace. Yeah, it would seem as if he did, didn't he? I think any spectators or guards here would see that shit. Durval. Just shoot arrows at him. I've got loud arrows, explosive arrows, screeching arrows. All you gotta do is alert the guards. No? Okay. Again, with the whole maybe I'm thinking too hard. The little things, man. Like, this would be so noticeable to anyone up there whose job it is to look out. Or do they not expect any spider monkeys? Also, this is a very unsecure bridge. If this is just a thing you have underneath the bridge. I I be there to see the sun god on his knee. You got one hit, buddy, and you didn't do enough damage, so. That's kind of your downfall, then, buddy. Stuff. Hey, no pots. They do want to give me a good chunk of medical herbs, so what kind of shenanigans are they expecting me to get it? No grates, no nothing covering this hole under. Ah, no doors, no nothing. Oh, well, there's a door. If you had a lock on it, that's fine. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. You didn't hear the explosion and see the smoke? Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. Can we just leave him like this for a little bit? No, fine. No room. Beat the ball on his man. What's this? You know, just me. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, yeah, my collar was royally fucked no up bomb. these last few episodes. I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. I doubt it. Where'd you get that thing from? How'd you even carry that thing up? What? <laughs> Why does Avad always have his ladies? Okay, big Can guy. You need, need to get lit on fire. I've got a sun god to kill. He's not a sun god, he's the king. You're being overly dramatic there, buddy. Kill pestrels and rabbit. Wow, fire did that much damage? It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Thought about it. Just a few glitter hawks. Who? Me? It's literally 
three, four, five, six gutter hops. That's your almighty plan of doom. What? You survived that, you stupid bird. Fair enough, though. Touche. Shouldn't survive that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So just, just two glitter hawks. I hear more. Track one, track two, track three. You stop perching up like you own this place? You don't. I don't understand why my second arrow isn't registering. What kind of glitchy weird shit was that? They used to have like some sort of fire protection on them or some shit? No, that one lit right up. Oh, that one. That first one, though. I hope you like fighting these things because there's more in the way. That's fine. They're literally just glitter hogs. I took down a red maw. I've taken down like if these were all storm hawks or something, that would be a whole different story. But, like they can't even—they don't even know where I am. They're so dumb. See, there it is again. They refuse to light on fire. Why? There we go. Very odd. Um. Oh, that was the wrong type of arrows to shoot off. That was expensive volley, that's for sure. Oh, yawn. Quiet now. You were saying something about there being more of them? You know, rub it into his face that he failed. You know, I killed them down there. This game, man. We wiggling around here. Now what? As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! Took you long enough, you were like ten feet away. I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Knock out to the face. You got a crowbar on the bottom of that hammer? The worst quest, talk to Durval is optional. Where can I talk to Durval at? 192 away to talk to Durval. Interesting. I'm gonna go do the optional part of this quest really fast here. Be a run around and go up. I think should update pings here. This city's very inconvenient to get around. I want the third though. Won't cost you a shard just to look. A woman atop the hunter's lodge. What's your deal, Derval? 
Why are they keeping him? Come to me for help. My duty is to guard. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I mean, I'd have a guard here. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha. It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. I mean, it kind of is. A bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart. I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Quite oh, true. <laughs> Think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. Yes, why I've over killing you. Heads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me. I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a thunder jaw lure in your bed. Ooh, that would be fun. I gotta admit, it burns me that a savage track me down. Most nor I get confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn. Why did they give this guy so many lines? That spear of yours is so fancy. But I could craft it blindfolded during a quick nap. Walls. Riding machines. Am I supposed to be impressed? Get one to serve me lunch. Then I'll take notice. You're like a burr in a booth. You know that? Just so irritating. What the fuck? Hammer to steel. I hate you. Someday. I'm gonna build a machine with the specific purpose of pulling your braids out. Okay. The great flaming forge, just leave me alone, Red. Well, oh, that was all of his dialogue lines, and wow, did they give him a fair amount of dialogue lines. That's actually kind of impressive, not gonna lie. I guess it's gonna be like a 40 minute episode because I kind of just want to finish up this entire quest line. So let's head back to. What What am I doing? What, the waypoint's updated towards here. Okay. It's so weird that there's people in this game that have the same voice as Geralt from Riviere. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, guards. Worship me. Nice, like, blue-gray sky, though. Huh, interesting. Who to talk to first, Avid or Errant? Whoever I come across first. Uh, looks like it'll be Errant. Hey, oh, buddy. I was just thinking about Ursa. Okay. If you would have killed Durval on the spot, I yeah, know. She would have. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. <laughs> but she also told me to grow up. And you did. It burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. Good. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? Very much so. You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. Oh, it's getting all sappy. So what now? So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Careful with the drinking, man. What do you think the Osirim will do to Derval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well, enjoy your visit with him. You gotta go. Kind of a dick. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. <laughs> Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. You're a pretty cool guy. Need to lay off the drinking though, to be totally honest. Like, 
destroys lives, my friends. I've seen it firsthand multiple times. Where are you at, Sun King? There you are. What are your ears doing, buddy? Hey, Still ringing? To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. Infinite shards? You saved my life. Plot of land? You saved Meridian. Kingdom? Nothing. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. Gonna fall for I me hope now? You will consider staying in Meridian. I got places to go and things to do. I mean, I'll be back. Were you and Ursa, you know. I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Yeah, he seemed to have a whole bunch of them. What exactly will happen to Derval? It's gonna get auctioned off For and tortured. Now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Who knows, and we may never know. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? He's falling for you. I think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, <laughs> and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Oh. You used to like Ursa. My back. Man, I screwed it up good. Like you used Ursa. I need to go my own way. I'm not a substitute. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa, including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah, please. Accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time, I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that then? Probably. Cause you keep hitting on all these shrewd, powerful, strong willed women. You got a thing for them, it seems. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. I'm gonna hold you to that one, probably, buddy. Because I'm gonna stir up some shit. Some big old shit. What was that achievement? Help, turn in, investigate Ursus' fate, and foil the plot against Meridian. So sad just sitting there, buddy. But either way, everyone, we shall step out into the light. Wander out onto this guy's throne that isn't guarded by anyone. Stand here overlooking... What a shitty view for a thone. throne. You just stare at a bridge and a wall. Of your own city. Whatever. This is his view. Royalty could have came up with a much better view, but it's fine. Anyways... Do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, check out my Twitch stream, watch everything front to back, and I will see you all in the next episode. Dig big out! Man.
Oh man. This guy's got a thing for powerful women. What power to him though? Strong independent women. Good for the soul. Why did I just do my outro thing again? Did I even do the dig out? I don't know. Click on the cards. Now I'm all confused. Bye guys.